Okay, so today's topic of discussion is the track motion feature in Corel Video Studio 2019. I will be showing you how to block out a license plate with track motion and how to block out a name brand, a label, with track motion. So let's begin. Okay, we are going to work with the track motion feature in Corel Video Studio 2019 and I have a video already loaded up here we are going to learn how to block out a license plate and a name brand label so just in case you have something in your video that you would like to hide for instance perfect example would be a license plate if you mistakenly video the back of your car and it shows your license plate and you don't want to show that to the world this track motion will allow you to block that out to pixelate it to where nobody can see it and you won't have to delete your video because you don't always want to clip out that section because of you're saying something important and whatnot so here we go and also you want sometimes you just don't want to show labels and you want to block that out whether it has something like profanity or whatever on it and you just don't want to show that in your video but you don't want to clip it out track motion is perfect so let's get started i am loading up a video we made this is actually vlog 9 we made this last year so it was towards our beginning on youtube this is where we bought the Yeti Blue and as a matter of fact I am speaking to you on the Yeti Blue now. So I'm going to drag this video down to the video timeline and I am going to drag the scrubber to the section that I want to track motion. okay there's a car coming up in this parking lot that has a license plate visible it is not my car I would never show that or even do a demonstration with my car so the first thing I like to do is I always like to isolate these sections so I'm gonna do a clip a little bit before and a little bit after so I am going to cut there and say cut here so I get just a little bit before the license plate is shown is visible and a little bit after it drops out of the frame okay to track motion let's double click in this area to highlight it and let's click track motion if you do not have this on your toolbar you can just click customize toolbar and it's right here you just highlight it just click the check mark okay so double click on your clip and click track motion so I'm going to drag this scrubber here to where that license plate is visible I'm going to click add tracker add new tracker over here in the bottom left and I'm going to be working now I was doing some practicing earlier and I already had a tracker made I am going to delete that tracker I'm only going to work with this new tracker that I had just created okay okay this yellow is my clip in this timeline here follow my cursor you can see this 
orange. I guess you would call it. That's the section that I clipped. That's my isolated clip that I just made. So this is before, this is after, but I want my tracking to be done only in this clip just for organizational purposes. Okay, so say so what I want to do is to drag the scrubber until the license plate is is fully visible, just visible right here. And I want to set tracker as point, which it is already highlighted. I also have the option of tracker as area and set multi-point tracker. I find that set tracker as point to be a bit easier. I am also going to come over to this feature, apply a hide mosaic. I want to toggle it on. Now, if you look in the viewing screen, this is my tracker. I want to click and drag over to the area I want to apply the mosaic, the track motion and apply it mosaic, which is there. Now, this is not a perfect feature. It tends to float around some. It don't always want to stay locked on, especially when the camera is moving. It works a lot better when the thing that you're trying to track is moving rather than the camera itself is moving. It, this is a difficult task for it to complete. Okay, so since this tracker likes to float around some, I am going to make the mosaic wider just so it will, the license plate will stay covered through the entire motion across the entire track so I'm just gonna click and make that wider just to guarantee that that license plate will be tracked and stay covered through the entire track so now that I have this covered and set the way I want to I have the tracker in the middle of that license plate hopefully it will stay I'm going to come down here and click track motion. Okay, as you probably saw, it did move around some. I can come here to show tracking path. You can see where this floated down. I can just click it and move it back up here. I don't necessarily need it back up there. It would have been fine leaving it there because the license plate is out of frame anyway. So let's say I am satisfied with that and I'm going to click OK. Say I don't want to track anything else in this frame. I'm done with it. I'm just going to click OK. And now we can preview it. I will enlarge this viewing plane to make it a little bit easier to see okay so let's just start right here so we can work our way into the track motion and the mosaic I am now going to click play okay as you see can see it did hide it I have a mosaic applied over the car over the license plate and I can click and drag this it stays blocked yes it's not perfect if I was going to make a live video I would spend more time with it especially at the very end where it just kind of drops off but all that happens so quick the average viewer probably won't notice that anyway average viewer where it just kind of blends into that black car probably wouldn't notice that so much but if this is your car your license plate that gives you a peace of mind that nobody's gonna try to stalk you or something as you can see it's just there at the very end it drops down 
that's kind of annoying to me and other people that's video editors would be annoyed by that but for the purposes of this video and obviously I would want to have that block too if this is actually my car I would definitely make sure that that was blocked off from view but as you can see the tracker works and that license plate is hidden play it one more time so you can see it in regular motion okay that is how you can block a license plate out while you are walking it is challenging to get that correct you will have to try it a few times before it works to your liking but it works okay moving on okay let's move on to the label let's just say you have something that you want to block out a label something profane like I was saying just like this Yeti we'll use this box let's say you really don't want to advertise Yeti and you just you don't like to do free advertising for companies for me it doesn't bother me at all maybe one day Yeti would like to sponsor us because we use their products but for now you know I don't mind free advertising but not everybody wants to give a company free advertising so let's say you want to block this name brand out once again let's go and make our cuts oops I'll just make a cut there and this is for organizational purposes I can just I don't have to do this I just like to do it so if I want to go back and make changes it's easier for me personally to go back there and make those changes okay and right there I will make the cut that's the scene that I want to do a tracking so once again double click on this clip that you have isolated or that I have isolated and click track motion now I'm going to drag this scrubber right here okay that's the very beginning of it I want to click add tracker so you can see this clip is now highlighted this shows you how long the clip is once again I will click set tracker as point apply mosaic I'm going to drag this to the middle of that and just expand the mosaic okay that covers it now let's click track motion down here as you can see the track motion feature works much better in this instance since the object that is trying to track is the one moving around and not the camera moving it's challenging for a software to keep track of something when the camera is moving when the camera camera is stable it tracks much better so I'm satisfied with that track I'm gonna click OK now let's preview that first in regular speed I'm gonna expand this viewing area out and click play And that's it that's how you block you know obviously it's not perfect I still have just a little bit there but just for the purposes of this video I did a pretty good job blocking that out 
I would probably want this out, but really you can't tell. I would probably want to block, block this entire thing out. If I was going to be serious about not giving free advertising, but for the purpose of this video, this is excellent. As you can see, it did block the name out the entire way. It, it tracked the motion of that box. Not a problem. It works very well in this instance. The license plate with the camera moving is a greater challenge for the software to track. This is a non-issue. As you can see, it tracks it very well. So let's go back and watch that in regular speed again. And there you have it. That's how it's done. Now sometimes this won't work as intended your first try at it but just keep working with it. You will get what you want blocked out with the track motion. It works very well, but sometimes you have to work with it to make it work well. That's how it's done. If you like this video, please click like. If you have not subscribed, please consider subscribing and click the bell so you know when we have our latest upload. Goodbye everyone.